What is going on, everybody? It's Tom Kelly here from Clean Cut Audio. Recently in my Discord server, I asked some folks what types of videos you would like to see in the future. And someone said that they would love to see me just kind of fixing issues that I come across on my client work. And this isn't the most common issue, but it's a weird enough one that I think it warrants an explanation of how I handle it. It is uh, something I come across when I'm working on True Crime Obsessed, which is uh, one of the greatest podcasts I've ever had the pleasure of working on and listening to. You should definitely check it out if you have not listened to yet. But um, yeah, let's dig into Pro Tools here and kind of take a look at what we're talking about. So for those of you that don't know, this is a documentary rewatch podcast where we take clips from the show and insert it into the episode. I have pretty much just started on the white hot Abercrombie episode, and this is something that happens a lot. Basically, all I have is the audio from the documentary. I don't have stems. I don't have multi-tracks. It's just voiceover and the music. And in this documentary, the music was mixed extremely loud. So when we're coming out of Patrick and Jillian's voice into these clips in the episode, we're really fighting with volume and levels here. So uh, if we take a listen to just kind of how this would sound naturally... But the thing that we learned about the mall... Specialty stores enabled you to be very, very specific about what you went shopping for. All right, so we have this really loud kind of, you know, pop punk backtrack, and it's kind of masking the vocals a little bit. So it's good that we have this in stereo, because if we put this all in mono, it would be even harder to listen to. These stores enabled you to be very, very specific about what you went shopping for. Right, so all of these frequencies are fighting for attention. So what I do, first of all, I've got Pro Q3 on here, and I'm taking out some of the uh, 7K range. I'm removing just a tiny bit of around 300 hertz from only the stereo information. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, I did a video previously where I kind of talked about layering vocals and music, but uh, basically just taking out in these overwhelming frequencies. I have a de on here just because uh, some of these vocals are a little s -y. And then this is the plugin that I'm really excited to actually show off. It's called Center. And this is a plugin by Waves. It's on sale right now for $30 at the Waves website. And if you use my affiliate link, you'll get an additional 10% off. It does kick me back 10% in Waves coupons. So it's uh, I'm not getting paid for this. But every now and then I will get a free plugin out of uh, all the affiliate links that you all so kindly use. But essentially what we have here is we could just change the volume of the center information independently from the side information and vice versa. So if we listen back to this track, the vocals are center and the music is heavily in the sides. So we can effectively kind of turn the music down without turning the vocals down. So we can put more focus on the vocals and remove so much clutter in the music. So we can, I'll zero it out here and we can just kind of take a listen to how this works. Specialty stores enabled you to be very, very specific about what you went shopping for. You can go to Hot Topic if you were kind of punkish. You could go to Pack Sun if you wanted more of that. So we can't reduce too much because then um, it's going to sound kind of phasey. It's going to sound a little wonky, but we can take out the side information. So all you're left with is what is in the center. Obviously, some of the music is also in the center, so we still hear some, but we can focus the vocals a lot more if we just reduce some of the sides. Maybe, you know, we can compensate by taking the center up a little bit so we're not just making it altogether quieter. But quickly, let's listen to before and after right now. Specialty stores enabled you to be very, very specific about what you went shopping for. You can go to Hot Topic if you were kind of punkish. You could go to Pack Sun if you wanted more of that surfer look. You could go to Abercrombie & Fitch if you wanted that preppy look. Something else we can do is we can kind of EQ the sides in the center. So I found that moving the highs to the center uh, helped out a little bit more as well. Specialty stores enabled you to be very, very specific about what you went shopping for. You can go to Hot Topic. So again, we're putting some of those frequencies that the voice really fits into, like maybe 4 or 6K, the presence range of the voice. Uh, we're just putting more of that information in the middle, which again, helps the vocals to pop out a little bit. Specialty stores enabled you to be very, very specific about what you went shopping for. You can go to Hot Topic if you were kind of punk. So since we're lowering some of the music here, we can actually probably bring the entire clip up, which again, is just going to make 
the vocals of this uh, this clip here match a little bit better into what the hosts are saying. And it's going to be less jarring when we're coming in and out from vocals recorded in a proper <laughs> podcasting broadcast studio and then something that was recorded, you know, with a boom mic feed away how it should be, but with very loud music over top of it. You could go to Abercrombie & Fitch if you wanted that preppy look. Stores could focus on the things they wanted. That sounds a lot better than this. You could go to Abercrombie & Fitch if you wanted that preppy look. Stores could focus on the things they wanted. Right, neither are particularly bad, but just trying to keep the end user in mind. I'm always imagining the listener, how I used to enjoy podcasts when I was working for Tesla doing solar. I was in a big box truck with noisy tools rattling around in the back. There was a lot of background information that was competing with the sound of my podcast. So sometimes it is worth it to go above and beyond to make the podcast as intelligible, as listenable as possible so that whoever is listening can hear every word, no matter the environment that they are in. All right, that's it. This is a quick video. This is kind of a weird thing. I don't really know how to like categorize it, but this is just a mix trick that I found to be extremely helpful for these very particular use cases that maybe not everyone is really coming into. But if you find yourself pulling clips from documentaries and TV shows where the music's already in it, you can help focus the voiceover using the center plugin from Waves. Again, if you're interested, it's on sale right now for $30 and you can get an additional 10% off if you use my affiliate link, which is down in the description. This is the beginning of a series that I'm trying to do more of where it's pretty quick and dirty. I just throw up screen recorder when I come across an issue in the middle of work and just handle it and kind of show my process. I think these are going to be a lot of fun. They're definitely going to be a lot easier to get out. And hopefully if someone out there has a weird question of something that they've encountered and they can't can't find an answer on hopefully these videos will cover some of that stuff and also if you would like to leave a comment below let me know any issues that you've been facing and i'll do my best to try to make a video covering how i would handle that issue always happy to do so thank you all so much i've got nothing else to say this is a quick one but i'm glad you're here and i hope you're all having a good day i love you all so much and i'll see you soon bye everyone mm -hmm.